An entire generation grew up watching Home Alone 2, fantasizing about New York City during the holidays. Today we're gonna to turn that fantasy into a reality and revisit some of the most iconic spots from the movie. And we're also gonna show you some cool things to do nearby. Let's go, you filthy animals. You have to imagine that there's still binoculars here in Battery Park. This was in the opening montage of Kevin arriving in New York City. He was looking out to the Statue of Liberty with the binoculars. They're not here, but it's still a nice view of the Statue of Liberty. And you've also got two cool options. You can pay and go to the Statue of Liberty and get an up close and personal experience, or you could take the free Staten Island Ferry, which is located right next to here. Choice is yours. But while you're taking the tour, you might as well do some fun New York City activities on the side anyway. This area looks very different from when Kevin McAllister was running around in 1992. You still have the 9-11 Memorial here, which is a must visit as far as I'm concerned in New York City. And while you can't go to the viewpoint on top of the World Trade Center like Kevin McAllister did, your replacement would be going to One World Observatory if you want to have that same sky high experience that Kevin had in the movie. I actually rewatched Home Alone 2 for the first time in 20 years, I think, just to get ready for this video. So I remember most of the scenes pretty well now. So Kevin makes a very brief cameo here in front of Radio City Music Hall. He just snaps a Polaroid shot. Although if you're here anyway, you should check out the Rockettes. They do an excellent show every year. Their Radio City Christmas Spectacular. I'm sure if Kevin's parents were with him, they definitely would have went to that show. I don't know if these ornaments were here when Kevin was visiting but this area is like the hub of all the holiday activity in New York City. Like absolutely one of the most popular spots. And this is like the beginning of it. I like to think that Home Alone 2 is actually partially responsible for a lot of these people coming to New York during the holidays. It's absolutely booming right now. I wonder if they had any idea the effect they would have. They probably didn't. <laughs> I was here last Christmas. About 80% less people. Fake monks are out too. To quote Kevin's mom, I know you and Christmas trees and this is the biggest one around. This is the spot where Kevin's mom found him towards the very end of the movie, except there was nobody here. Now, while this is the most popular tourist attraction in New York City during the holidays, the tree at Rockefeller Center. So Kevin had very good taste, and it actually looks pretty similar now to what it looked like during the movie. And this year's tree, looking good, looking very good. I hate to be the bearer of bad news, but Duncan's toy chest was actually filmed in Chicago because it's a John Hughes movie. No surprise on that. Now, I believe they were trying to imitate FAO Schwartz. The original store closed in 2015, but the new version popped up here in 2019. And based on that line, Kevin would have had to have waited outside for a very long time to get some toys. And by the way, if you're looking for a cool gift for the holidays, New York City theme, check out Adriana's art shop. She has some amazing prints, ships worldwide. One more place that was not actually filmed in New York City, which looks like New York, was Uncle Rob's apartment on West 95th Street. It was actually shot uh, on a back lot in California. You can visit the address, but that's not where they filmed it. That's so cool, dude. It's the Buff India. That's so cool. Let's go to that bar that you recommended. Hit it up, man. It's a good one. All right. I can't hide anymore. Can't hide. Was he a male 25 or 34? Was he a male 25 or 34? Is, you, is Google lying to me about who's watching? Carnegie Hall was the site of actually one of the most touching scenes of the movie when Kevin and the pigeon lady go into a, a hidden attic to watch a show and they talk about how they both feel invisible to the world. People pass me in the street. They see me, but they try to ignore me. They prefer I wasn't part of their city. Carnegie Hall, still here, still a great place to see any kind of musical performance. This subway station may look familiar. This is where Harry and Marv came up to Midtown on the N or the Q train, and they discussed how they were gonna change their name from the Wet Bandits to the Sticky Bandits, and it looks exactly the same as it did in the movie. So this is actually kind of surreal for me. This is, this is interesting. If YouTube existed when Kevin was in New York, and he wanted to use his dad's credit card for lunch, 
He would have come here. This is the slowest elevator in New York City history. Look at this, I'm actually afraid. <laughs> cool thing about this is no subway swipe required to get down here. Turnstile underground market, just a series of shops and places to eat. Total hidden gem. Do the uh, chicken, uh, chicken burrito. The chicken burrito, of course. All right, my pick in this market is Easy Paella. It's actually a good story. They opened right as the pandemic hit New York, had to close down, but now they're back in business. And you know, paella, not something you find in every corner of New York City. So I actually ordered the burrito espanol. This is so good. Woo -hoo. I have the homemade paella rice inside with the bits of chicken, some pepper. It's a great lunch. Land and sea paella right here. Mm. Wow. I gotta say, I don't think I've ever ordered paella in New York City. This is definitely a place you want to swing by when you're on your home alone excursion. All the places in Home Alone 2, I think the plaza is probably the most visited and the most famous. And now, if you want to book a night here during Christmas season, $1,000 a night is what you would have to pay to book for this coming Tuesday. And so much of the movie was filmed inside of here in the lobby. You saw Donald Trump making a cameo inside of the hotel during the movie. It was because at the time he owned the plaza and he said the only way they were going to film inside of there was if he could make an appearance. The lobby of the hotel is only open to hotel guests right now. So, if you come here, unfortunately, you will not be able to walk around. Maybe it's a COVID issue, I don't know. But there are other hotels in New York that are open to the public that have really cool displays, like the Peninsula, for example. So, unfortunately, Home Alone 2 fans right now in December can't make it in there. Kevin was coming from the park this way, walking back towards the Plaza Hotel, and this is where he passed the Wet Bandits for the first time in the movie, where they weren't sure if it was him or not. It was right here. Just going on the Home Alone 2 tour actually shows you some really amazing places in New York. Galpsto Bridge behind me. I think some people actually call this the Home Alone Bridge. It wasn't in the movie too much, but the scenes were really iconic. One of them was when Kevin first runs into the pigeon lady right here and runs off. And then at the end, with the snow and the, and the lake here frozen, he gives her a hug at the end and gives her uh, one of the doves. So this is just a beautiful place, not just for Home Alone too, but just to look at New York. Even we still have some fall colors uh, in December, and you can see the Plaza Hotel straight down there. So you could see that he was coming right from his hotel, directly here. There's nobody dumb enough to knock off a toy store on Christmas Eve. Oh yes there is. This is Woman Rink where Marv was ice skating very poorly and Harry and him were plotting how they were gonna make their money. And not a lot has changed since it was filmed for Home Alone 2. It's still a super popular destination for ice skating. Maybe the most popular spot. This or Bryant Park, I'm not sure. If you want to see the whole park, by the way, places that Kevin missed, check out our Central Park guy. We went from top to bottom. You definitely want to watch. Good news and bad news about Inscope Arch. Now, this is supposed to be where the pigeon lady saves Kevin at the end from the bandits by throwing all the pigeon feed on them and then the pigeons attack. Most people believe, and when you watch the movie, you can tell that they actually recreated this spot on a sound stage in Hollywood, but it looks pretty similar to this. So you can use your imagination and pretend that this is where Kevin got saved at the end. And it's a beautiful spot too. I mean, the tunnel is clearly longer now than it was in the movie. I don't think they extended it, but it's actually just a beautiful place to check out. And it's a little bit off the beaten path, off the main trail. So a cool spot just to explore. Tell me in the comments your favorite scene from Home Alone 2. I'm curious. And also, did you like Home Alone 1 better? or two, I wanna know. Guys, thank you so much for watching. As always, till next time.